Welcome back. We continue following breaking news. There you see our Van 2 live on the scene on Wide Away. And Van, deputies giving us the very tragic news that five people have lost their life. Uh, the suspect turning the gun on himself. We're learning uh, children have also lost their life. You were first to report just that tragic news. Yes, Chris, this is certainly heartbreaking. The Sacramento Sheriff's Office uh, confirming information that the shooter was a father and among those victims were three of his children, all under the age of 15. And a fifth victim, uh, their relationship unknown to this family at this time. You can see behind me that the police presence remains to be quite large here off a wider way. The shooting took place at a church, the church in Sacramento on wider way. Uh, police uh, 911 calls came coming through at around 507 and we are learning again that this is a domestic violence situation from the Sacramento Sheriff's Office a father shooting and killing three of his children under the age of 15 and he, uh, under the age of 15 and a fifth person also deceased uh, we did get a hold of a member of the church a church elder who said at the time of the shooting there wasn't a service and the gates were locked um, the sheriff's office saying that they uh, at this time don't know whether or not the um, shooter and the victims were members of this church. This is all information that we are still yet to learn at this time, Chris. Our van, too, uh, has been following this from the very beginning. Uh, and there you see the information that we know so far. Five people dead, including the shooter, three children under the age of 15 or among the victims, a shooter is believed to be their, fa their father. It happened on Wide Away in the Arden area, right next to the Arden Fair Mall. I can tell you uh, that this is one of those things that will just stick with this community. Mm -hmm. It just, I mean, your heart just breaks for everyone involved. And Madison, you've been working your sources throughout the evening, uh, uh, learning that um, yeah. th th there were some of those folks who were actually going out to try and comfort people who had been impacted by this Yeah, tragedy. of course. This all happening at a church tonight in mm -hmm. a place where you should feel safe and mm -hmm. loved and, and something like this to happen is just horribly tragic mm -hmm. no matter where it happens, but tonight at a church. Mm -hmm. And we're also hearing from the law enforcement chaplains in our community, Chris, who are heading that direction. They're probably already there. I have been texting them, but they are, of course, very busy mm -hmm. talking with people who are on the scene. Now, the chaplains are those who respond to horrible tragedies and help those who are the family members of the victims. Now, as we know, a father took the lives of not only himself, but his three children tonight, mm -hmm. all under the age of 15. Just horrific news that you, you may be reading on your phones right now, and that's why you're tuning in to see the latest information. Here's some video from, from earlier. The calls came in right after 5 p.m. This is, of course, a very busy time for so mm -hmm. many families in and around that neighborhood, and we do know the chaplains are going to be there and responding. I've also, Chris, talked to a pastor at the church I go to, Mm -hmm. uh, he said that the chief, Chief Lester with Sacramento police called him uh, to let him know that this was happening. So not only uh, is, is this community of the Arden Ar Arcade area reeling tonight about this news, but also the church community all across Sacramento, uh, pastors from different churches being alerted to this news, um, also there to support as well as much as they can. Mm -hmm. We were live as deputies brought us the very latest information about what had happened today. We do know that they do not believe that there is any threat no. to the surrounding community. We do know that they will be there throughout the evening, and so you will notice a very heavy police presence throughout the evening there. Uh, and as we work to try and make sense of exactly what mm -hmm. has happened today, uh, a police saying that this appears to be a domestic violence incident. Yep. Uh, and we know that those, sadly, have been increasing during the pandemic. Uh, uh, mental health has been quite the issue as well during the pandemic. Our hearts go out to everyone impacted by this tragedy. Again, we have crews with live team coverage on air and online at abc10.com. Stay with us for more updates. We're going to take just a quick break, and we're back right after this.